What's up, Collider TV Talk fans? Josh McCuga here with Roxy Stryer, who didn't have caffeine at lunch, just some hot water and lemon. I was uh, rocking out to Dunkin' <laughs> Chic, baby. I am barely breathing. And I, I can't, can't find the air. Don't know who I'm kidding. kidding. Imagining you care. care. Should I go up or down? I can stand here waiting. A fool for another day. Don't surprise it's my Don't suppose it's worth the price. The <laughs> price that I would pay. Yeah. He's back. Yeah. He's back, baby. <laughs> How many people do you think are not listening anymore? <laughs> All of the people. All of the people. I'd like to point out, too, I was like closing my eyes like I was actually singing the Dunkin' Cheek. You know what, though? Mm. It's actually not a bad karaoke song. Oh, it's pretty great because yeah. people love it so uh -huh. much. I mean, Closet love that song. That song, Sex and Candy. Mm, Marcy Playground. And Save Tonight. All three of those hit, hit my life at the same time yeah. where I was just like, those are the best the, the best jams. You know what song also hit your life at the same time? What? Uh, Let the rain fall down and, and wash my dreams. Let it wash away. I thought it was Ashley Simpson, but it was Hillary, Hillary Duff. Duff, the Duff Master. And a now you know. Uh, that that song. Are popped we up prepping in our right now for Fire Festival? We are. See, that's the thing. Oh, that's why we're if you guys are tuning inclined. in, if you guys are tuning in right now, uh, this is hypothetical questions with Josh and Roxy. I'm Roxy. I'm Josh. Mm. And I guess you guys figured that. Uh, I mean, there's. I've never met a Josh girl before, but I'm sure there's going to be like a Joshua girl, right? I've never met a Roxy boy, but I will say that if I was going to be a boy, my name was going to be Rock. Yeah. So. Rocco? Just no, Rock. just Rock. Huh. And if I was a girl, my name was going to be Xanadu. Oh, um, right. And then they took my boy name, made it girl name. Here I, I am. I would much rather be friends with a person named Roxy than I think Xanadu. 100%. But Xan is kind of... But if I was a dude, my name was Rock. It's kind of like Brick. Just... Yeah. It's tough. But here's a funny... Rock! In, in college, I remember we were, uh, you know, they would, at the Penn State, all the fraternities had to, like, do one open rush thing at the campus center and everybody's saying, and this guy comes like, hey, I'm Stone. And I was like, is that your first name? And he's like, no, nah, it's my last name, but I'd go by Stone. And I was like, cool. Not getting a bit. See, right. if it's your first name, you can introduce sure. yourself that way. Your parents did that to you. It's your name. It's your fault. But it's if not it's your, your last name, you're going to choose it? Yeah. Stone. Like, it's fine. I just came up and was like, yo, kooks. Is that your last name? No, it's actually a shortening of my last name, but people just call me Kooks. So. Yeah, but I, I do call you Kooks. Yeah, but a ton of people call me But I would never be like, Kooks. hey, this is my friend Kooks. Yeah. <laughs> Meet my friend Kooks. Yeah, yeah. I got in trouble in college because I used to have a girl sign in for me at this one class that was mandatory attendance, but it was 8 a.m. And she signed it Josh Kooks one day because she forgot my full last name. And then I got in a lot of trouble, and I was pretty Brutal. pissed about it. Very similarly, and also equally as non-relevant, one time I got in trouble because a boy named Darnell in my class was copying off my paper, and he copied my name. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right on the top. Way Roxy. to go, Darnell. Way Roxy. to go. Uh, and it kind of was him because he had no test handed in. And, that and I was I was uh, in trouble, which wasn't fair to me. That's not fair to you. No. He, you didn't have him copy. He just did it. And speaking of being in trouble mm. and stupid things to do and turning in pieces of paper with your own. And we're getting arrested about, and fraud and all of those six things. Six years in prison. Yep. Uh, we're, we're talking about this FIRE Festival. Now, if, if you guys don't know what it is, FIRE, F-Y-R-E Festival, there's two documentaries out right now. One's on Netflix and one is on Hulu. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Josh, that's not – TV, that's a documentary movie, but Netflix and Hulu both have TV, so we thought we would do this. They're, and, they're TV streaming services, Yes, and it's kind of challenging these days. Yes, I guess that is a, a movie, but it's on a TV streaming service. That's right. the, the primary focus of those things. And also, like, if it was a TV movie that was on HBO, we would still cover it here, so that... I, I think agree. it counts. I agree. So what we're going to do is, if you guys and have watched... And everybody's talking about it. Everybody. And everybody's talking about it. So we, it, we're giving the people what they want. <laughs> Come on. If we're not nothing, if we're not that. Something. Whatever. Uh, if we're not nothing, if we're not that. <laughs> whatever. Slogan of the show. I just... I just <laughs> if we are not nothing, we are not nothing that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But I, dot, 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 end think, quotation. I think it uh, flies. I think yeah. we got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's basically that's basically what Fire Festival was. Yes. I, if we are not nothing, we are nothing that. Nothing that. that. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> Fire Festival. <laughs> hashtag it. Coming 2019. Yep. Um, so basically what we're going to do 
for this is we're not going to replan a fire festival and see what they did wrong. We're going to plan a fire festival with only TV personalities, TV bands, uh, a TV place location, TV, TV catering, TV catering, um, TV people that like worked and say whatever, TV and hot people, TV bartenders, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, right? Maybe a, in the morning a TV coffee uh, barista. Our you know dream. I'm going with that one. I, I did I get what you're going with that. Yeah. But also what's in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is the perfect thing because I hate when people look at something like Firefest and they're like, Well, if I was planning it, I would have done XYZ. Right. It's like no crap, Sherlock. <laughs> right. You wouldn't have served those ham cheese and sandwiches? cheese sandwiches. There wasn't ham, it was just bread and cheese and mustard. Supposedly there was ham in some of the oh. sandwiches, but in that picture there's just cheese. Yeah. You wouldn't have done that? You wouldn't have had them sleep in uh, FEMA, FEMA tents? tents? That no? were soaking wet with poop in them? So we're we're being living in the hypothetical world. Right. If we hyper, hypothetically were going to plan Firefest using all TV resources, characters, plate locations, music, etc. Right. So we're not just poking fun to poke fun and say, I could have done better. Right. We're living in a dream world. Right. We are. Um, Let it wash <laughs> away. <laughs> insanity. Insanity. Perfect. Doesn't, Doesn't seem so perfect. perfect. Is that a different one? No, that's the that's, oh. the, oh, that's the opening. Oh, of I was like, I know this one. Too. <laughs> Come clean, Hillary Duff on fire. She was on fire. What is that? Her most famous song? Does she have Definitely. another song? Definitely. I don't know. I mean, I think she had an album. What's the sister's name? H- H- Haley. H- Haley Duff. Is that true? Yeah, I think it's Haley oh. Duff. Yeah. Oh, hey, name your kids Hillary and Haley. A little close. Tough. A little close. I mean, it's. I, I went to high school and college with a dude whose all his brothers were named M words. So it was like Mark, Mike, Mitchell, Morgan, Matthew. Mm. A lot of M's, but it's not as close as Hillary and Haley. Well, I told you I knew twins, uh, met them, didn't know them well. Parents named them the same name because they were nervous they weren't going to be able to tell them apart. What? Which should be illegal. That's 100% <laughs> illegal. Mm. Did you know what Rami Malik's twin brother's name is? No. Sammy Malik. But no. it's not Ra- so like Sammy, but if you want to like, Sammy and Sammy or Rami and Sammy. Yeah. But Rami is a little tough. Rami. But like Rami, I feel like ah, Rami. If, if you ever hear uh Canadians pronounce the word pasta, they say pasta. So I feel like Rami is how they would pronounce Rami Malik. If you said pasta, I'd say pasta what? Pasta. <laughs> Past the chips or the smash. Pa- exactly. We're off. We're, we're already off, off we're kilter, off. and that's what the fire festival is all about. The tangentially tangential. So let's bring it back. I feel like the first thing we need to do, and what they should have done first, okay. is is pick a location. Pick a location. Uh, so we can't use Pablo Escobar's island. No. Because that's not a TV location. No. Well, unless you go on Narcos. Uh, Narcos. Mm, so we could use it. You could. And they didn't use it. No. So we could still use it. We could it. still use it. I am a big fan of the island from Lost. Okay. Especially because there's that like weird gold glowing thing, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. We've got polar bears. We've we got have, a hatch. We've got a smoke monster. We've got a smoke monster. We've got an entire village on the island. And if we're trying to get away, if we're trying to do our generation's Woodstock, we're getting away from social media maybe because... There's no Wi-Fi there. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no yeah. hot spots gonna work there. Nothing. Nothing. Once you're there, you're on the island. You are enveloped in the fire festival. Which is kinda cool. Yeah. Uh, then we've got our man Gilligan. Okay, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. He got stuck there a real long time though. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you ever seen uh Tr- M- Murder in Paradise, I think it's called? It's a British show that my wife watches. Gotta where say no. It's there's there's an Murderer island. Murderer in Paradise? It's Murder in Paradise or Par Something death and par- death and paradise is maybe what it's called. Oh, let me look at it. Let me look All at right, it. I don't know. Keep it. going. <laughs> I'm trying to think of and uh, the other thing, Josh, is that if we are deciding where Firefest should be, we don't actually have to pick an island. No, we could pick just a cool location. But I do think there is something to be said. Like I'm the person who hears about Firefest and yeah. all of the theoreticals, and I'm like, oh, that actually could be a really dope vacation if I had infinitely more money than I have right now. So the, the show is called Death and Paradise. It takes place on a, a mythical island. Uh, it's a British show, but we don't have to do it because nobody's heard about but it. But I like it. Do we okay. want to do island or do we not? Well, I think to it's keep with the Fire Fest be. theme, we have to do someplace tropical that would be really tough to throw a music festival But it could on. be like, Mo- what, like Monterey, the South- um, Big Little Eyes, Beach, just oh, like the beach. Oh, that's or not bad. We could do uh, the beach in um What about the Malibu affair? Sands and, and Saved by the Bell? We could do that. Yeah. Wow, that was a cool sound. 
That was pretty good. <laughs> you try it. Yeah, you can do it. I was hoping that you couldn't. Um, I think I, something about Island, though. Yeah, because if we're going to do it and we're going to sell this festival in like a tropical island, we got to do it. Like, let's do the island if we're going to if we're going to do it. Are you what Mountain Dew? Do the Dew. Uh, do the Dew. Fire. The island. Code Red Mountain Dew. Fire. What about what about the island? One of the islands in Survivor. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a real island, and it seems like they survive on it. But there's you got to put bathrooms and stuff like that. Now here's my idea. Also, a lot of wild animals. When you watched, yeah, creepy amount of wild animals. When you watched the the documentary on Netflix, the mm-hmm. Firefest documentary on Netflix. Because both Josh and I have seen both the Hulu both and Netflix. Hulu ones. and Netflix. The the one guy who I trusted the most was I think he was like Danish. Billy. No, the yeah, Christian Billy. Harloff. Danish Christian Harloff, <laughs> the guy that recommended they put cruise ships around the island. And ferry the people into the festival, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Which I thought was the smartest idea. Is you could have people going back and forth. You could also have to sleep on the to cruise sleep ships on the at cruise night. ships at night. But you could also have had like different concerts on different cruise ships. Because and he was private saying it was yachts. too windy, and he took his wife to try to make it through the night, and they couldn't. That guy. Yeah. Uh, on the island, they mm-hmm. couldn't make it. It was too windy on the island. Yeah. But if you're on a cruise ship, you're stuck. You're in a boat. It's not as mm-hmm. big of a deal. Um, so you're thinking about putting us on a cruise ship? Putting on so like if the love boat was part of. The oh, fire oh. festival. See where I'm going with that? Yes. I'm what? Making that sound. I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> Ten years of broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like another show with a cruise ship? I was just in thinking it? boats. Any kind of. <laughs> mm. Ten years of broadcasting. <laughs> sneeze, 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 sneeze. Remember when Marissa Cooper died? Yeah. There was a cliff. That was so maybe we got to do something. To, <laughs> oh, see, what if have you ever seen the show Broad Church? They went to Tijuana too. They did. I haven't seen Broad Church. Broad Church is really good, and I they're heard, in this like sleepy that. English town, and you could, and it's this awesome, this huge cliffs and this empty beach. You could throw a sick music festival there. Everybody could stay in town. Uh, you know, like you could have crazy. Uh, show up in like the fields above the cliff. You could have people looking down. It might be a little dangerous and people might fall from the cliff, but hey. Well, we heard in one of the docks, you can just put up a fence. You can just put up a fence. Which they didn't do, but they couldn't. No. Yep. I have to tell you, my heart goes with the island from Lost. I I'm know that go with you know you too. that. I know you know. I think that's but our what best, am I? I think that's our best option because there's so many different things you could do on the island. And it's kind of creepy and eerie. And if we advertise it that way, come to our festival, the island. Yeah. Like I literally Look have out a for booby poster traps. that I can bring us next week that says the island on it. And it's this beautiful painting of like the lost island. Yeah. There's so much, so much to explore and do on the island. And you have, you know, pass through the woods and mm-hmm. beach. So you have concerts at the beach. You have a concert at the village. People stay in the village. People, there are huts that you could stay in. The all the deluxe package is in the hatch, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. that old plane that people were staying in. You could have people stay in the plane. I don't old think they're zoo. staying there on purpose, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you could make that all into the festival, right? And, it's already and in planted also, in there. Also, because we're not going to do what Firefest did, where they're only planning it four months in advance, we're going to plan this eighteen months in the, eighteen months in advance, yes. what they recommend. We're going to actually have dope villas, one hundred percent, and really set this up. Yeah, is Martha Stewart helping us in any way? I'm okay. just wondering. <laughs> well, we so we've got our location. We're on the Lost Island. Yep. My original thought okay. was who would cater slash plan this whole thing, right? I feel like we can have multiple people, though. Think about how many people that Billy had. Yes. Okay. If we plan this out in advance and we get these sponsorships from all these people and mm-hmm. we're like, hey, this is going to be a fully immersive experience. This is going to be like the Four Seasons Burning Man. Mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. how I would advertise it, right? Is you have like this luxury accommodation with these amazing musical acts on this ridiculous island. And these are your chances for like staying, right? So you can stay in the Lost Village. You can stay at the zoo and we redo the whole zoo. And there's like a polar bear that you would light up with, you know, neon lights. And That's he so just dope. roars while a DJ plays above the polar bear. What does it sound right? like? <laughs> <laughs> We brought it back. <laughs> so instead of the dragon, <laughs> go. <laughs> you got it. We nailed it. Got really into it there. Okay. Feeling a little sweaty. Still so out of breath. If our caterer. <laughs> 
now having breathing. I have like this weird pain underneath my right pectoral muscle. Either tora pec muscle or I, I can't breathe in out of my Are lung. you imitating me or this is really you? No, this is really me. Oh. I started hurting this Twinsies. morning. <laughs> you know, they say uh, the, the hosts that do a show together get injured together. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I'm just on dorms. That could be the premise of a show where anytime I got injured, I just injured you where I was injured. <laughs> well, you told to be- me once. <laughs> I think it's a pretty fun premise for a yeah, show. Thank you. Uh, there's also that premise on our island. It's like if one of your friends gets hurt, you can bring them to a certain location mm-hmm. and we will hurt them in the same place. Well, you ever, you know, when you do a drinking game and there's that part of the game where you get, pick somebody who anytime you have to drink, they have to drink too. Yeah, yeah. We should do that on the island with everything, though. It's not just with drinking, it's with drugs <laughs> and it's with injuries. Sure. It's with polar it's the, bear experiences. You have to sign up and pay monsters. extra for the buddy system. The buddy system. The buddy system. I yeah. like this idea. Well, let me just write this down. Okay. So So I asked you about Martha Stewart because we're trying to figure out who's helping us plan all of this. Right. Who's getting involved? Who is our so we have, jaw rule? Who is our party planner? Who is our caterer? We got a lot of questions. All right. I kind of want to go with like maybe Hannah Montana is our headliner because this is going to be for- Interessante. Because this is like our- um, millennial kind of fire festival for doing it you mm-hmm. know in a year from now hannah montana comes she's got like her reunion tour and then she breaks straight into miley cyrus yeah i like that a lot did you or did you not watch one tree hill i did not watch one tree hill mm. we need peyton in there but you don't is know she, is she in a band no so uh she's she is musically gifted but she also ends up like running a record label oh so let's put her she'll on. Help, she, I think she can help us book the get. Book yeah, the talent. we're gonna use Peyton to help. What's us. her last name? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Peyton. Mm-hmm. Peyton One Hill. Peyton. Mm-hmm. Peyton Hill. Let's what just call her it? Hill. What is her last name? I like that throughout the show. Theoretically, you like not theoretically. Sometimes you have to take the reins so that I can figure out what the hell I'm talking about via Google. Yep. And sometimes vice versa. Let's now, see. would Billy Ray Cyrus make an appearance at, to open up each day and Why just not? do achy, breaky heart? Or Peyton would, Sawyer. Peyton Sawyer. Peyton Sawyer. Peyton Sawyer. Yeah. And then she got married. She was Peyton Scott. Spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, would Billy Ray Cyrus close out each night of the festival singing, don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart? I think that's a good, good closer each night. I don't night. know it. That's the Billy Ray Cyrus's number one song of all time. We sing more. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think she'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, yeah, now I know it. can go up and kill me. How land. happy will you be if I say that I knew it the whole time? <laughs> I just wanted that. I think that's good. If we're going to be on the island, we might as well have Charlie's Band Drive Shaft. You are everybody. We are everybody. Yeah, Drive Shaft. Got to be on there. Yeah. I really want Mouse Rat. Rat Mouse. Uh, Mouse Rat. Yeah. Um, Chris Pratt's. Chris Pratt's band. Band from Parks, Parks and Rec. And Rec. Uh, Kevin's band in the office, Synchronicity. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, I think we do uh, the Partridge Family Reunion. Yeah. I mean, that's a famous TV band. I'm thinking about, too, though, what about bands that have played on TV, like the Monkees? Monkees? I mean, you should probably put the Monkees on this. But, like... There's so many. I mean, what about okay? No, but they had an actual show. Show, yeah. So we could give the monkeys, okay. right? I think we definitely. I mean, listen, if one of the headliners on one of the second stages isn't Jesse and the Rippers, we are so yeah, we're not doing this right. No, no. But then, what about other bands that have show? Not bands, but like Ozzy has had 15 shows. Who? Ozzy Osbourne has had like the Osbournes have had so many shows. You know. Well, we don't have any reality people in here. Mm-hmm, I don't think true. we should do reality because that's real people. But the monkeys are then we real have people. To do like, yeah, but they had a show where they played like weird versions of themselves. It was yeah. a scripted show, you know? So then like because if we did Ozzy, then we'd have to do like Brett Michaels' Rock of Love and Flavor Flav, Flavor of Love. Okay, this is a list on Maxims. That's 12 best fake TV bands okay. I'm looking through right now. We have to do, do Zach Attack. Do you remember Attack. Frozen Embryos and My So-Called Life? No. Uh, I don't but know. I love that show. I mean, I love the idea of that show. We weren't that, allowed to watch yeah, it. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, oh, Crucifictorious on Friday Night Lights. Um, Is that like a Christian band? No, I don't remember. I don't remember them either. And I love that show. Yeah, Jesse and the Rippers, like you just named. Okay. Freaks and Geeks at that band creation. Oh uh, yeah. Zach Attack, you just named also. Okay. The Beats. 
Doug Funny's band. Oh, the Beats. Or only hologram animated Killer band. Tofu, Killer <laughs> Tofu. Yeah, I remember that song. Drive Shaft from Lost, of course. You all, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Funke's 100% oh. Natural Good Time Family Band Solution from Arrested Development. Arrested Development. Yeah, Mouse Rat we already have coming. Okay. Wow, I don't know this one. Okay. Puss Whip, Bang Gang, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great uh, job. Yeah, I never really watched I know no. people are like diehard Tim and Eric fans, but I never watched that. Electric Dream Machine from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'll Day take Man. it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Um, uh, that, Karma how, Rocket from Party Down. What about, oh, Karma Rocket is actually pretty good. What about, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Je- Josie and the Pussycats from Riverdale. Yeah, they're amazing. Okay. The, the Pussycat doll. Pussycats. No, they're not. They're just the Pussycats. Uh, that movie was great, too. Josie and the Pussycats. Long tails and ears for hats. <laughs> and there was another band in that movie that was amazing. The guy band. Backdoor Lover. <laughs> yeah, they were great. But that's the movie. <laughs> okay. Karma. What was the? Du jour. That was what they were called. Du jour. All right, Josie and the Pussycats. All right, so we've got a pretty good so lineup. So who's, who's playing? Okay, so we've got... Uh, Hannah Montana mm-hmm. slash Miley Cyrus. You got Billy Ray Cyrus closing out the show. And if the bands want to join him on stage to do like a cover version of Don't Tell My Heart, Make You Break Your Heart. Mm-hmm. Right? What does and that sound like? Let's just say it's punk. Like, don't tell my heart, my achy break your heart. Rah, rah. We just don't think you don't understand. Duh. Okay. If you tell my heart, my achy break your heart. Love it, kids, man. Mm-hmm. Are there any like, good rappers in a, in a, sh- in, in a we show? We do need a little rap. Music. We need some hip hop. We need some DJs. Are there any DJs? But they're all like you said, no reality TV. I know. But do we have DJs in shows? Mm. What about the band from like Big Time Rush? Like, why can't we do B- DJ Polly D? Listen, a lot of people would call Jersey Shore reality. Okay. Yeah. But what, it, because it is. Because it is. <laughs> However. But. The way it transcended the American pop culture is it could be a scripted show because DJ Polly D actually became a very famous DJ from the show. Without yes. the show, he's still just doing gigs in Rhode Island. So you feel like he counts? I think he counts. I think we can bring him. I think he's our polar bear DJ. Every single day he's he does makes, a three-hour polar bear set. He makes 20 mil a year. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Like that's... It's crazy. He probably makes $150,000 a set. Just so much. He money. plays his iTunes. Do you watch? Did you watch Jersey Shore back in the day? Yeah, I, I, D- yeah. Did you watch when it came back? Yep. He just pays for everything for everybody because he's just doing so much. Yep. More successful money wise, monetarily. You saw his house. He just has motorcycles inside of his Insane. house. Insane. He's like Fabio. Uh, that's an old Cribs uh, throwback. Okay, so we've got DJ Polly D in there. He's definitely our polar bear DJ. He comes on in between sets. Yeah. Okay, so you've got Drive keep Shaft. Going. You got Mouse Rat, Synchronicity, The Partridge Family, The Monkeys, Jesse and the Rippers, Zack Attack, Creation, Doug Funny's The Beats, Dr. Funke's Electric Good Time Solution Band. Uh, you've got Nightman. We're going to do a full version of Night- The Nightman Cometh. Nightman Cometh. So we're putting on a show. We're putting too. on a show. I mean, this is play this is Fire a... Festival. Yeah. We've got to get want people to get come. Get all the people. If we can tell them that the, the headlining act on the Saturday night is a two-hour version of The Nightman Cometh with DJ beats and all kinds of stuff. Take all the acts to Save. Everything that you've got, uh, they they are going to provide the entertainment. I think we've got or a real not winner. Kids, by the way, you can do the all don't of this. do drugs. Don't kids. do drugs. But if you come to Firefest, you, you, you might c- be offered drugs. You might be offered them. No means no. You don't. It, don't yeah, no means no. Don't yeah. you don't have to do it. Mm-hmm. We're not. Listen, nobody's going to force you to do drugs. That's no. the biggest myth no. in the world. Drugs cost a lot of money. If you don't want to do them, nobody's going to give you them. No, they're, no. they're saving money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kids, listen to us right now. Just <laughs> say no. Because people will accept your answer. Mm-hmm, because they w- they'll just leave it at that. Yes. And okay. also just come to Fire Festival 2019. 2019. Josh and Roxy. On the Lost Island. Do we want to continue calling it Fire Fest? Or is there like a TV well, we said reference we, we want to... Holt and Catch Fire Festival? Holt and Catch Fire Fest. That's amazing. Okay. That's and amazing. Done. There you go. Holt and Catch Fire Fest. <laughs> All right. That's so good. <laughs> All right. So we've got our bands. At least, and if you think of other bands that you've heard in shows before, you can do it. Um, you can do it. Leave them, by the way, leave in the comments also. Who else do you want to see play yeah, of what, the TV bands? Who do you want to see? Shout out to whoever laid us in Twitter last week that said Kate Blanchett would have made a very good villain 
of our show last Kate week. Kate Blanchett would have been amazing. I know, right? Or True Detective last week. I'm kind of a fan of it. Yeah, me too. Okay. I, I honestly thought about pulling down the episode. <laughs> Because you liked it so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got we're on the Lost Island. We've got all these awesome bands. Who are our caterers slash hosts? And then we can talk about bartender slash alcohol right, kind so of situation. When I'm on an island, as yeah. as happens so frequently, um, I kind of want something light. Okay. Like I would like maybe a taco situation, mm-hmm. like vegan tacos or like fish tacos kind of a thing. Well, uh, like vegan sashimi was, tacos. Vegan was so 2015. Oh, okay. I'm thinking more like. Yeah, you know. Instead of farm to table, ocean to table? Yes, okay. yes. Got it. Got it. A thin fish. Thin fish. Got and then it. a veggie. Okay. So who do we think can do that? Uh, man. Because I was going, I mean, like Rachel Ray, Giada De Laurentiis, Martha Stewart. Like I Well, want Gianna the, could probably pull that off. You know, I mean, they have, their, they know all of the taste. And I would also go, because he's really good with seafood in that kind of area, I would go with Emeril Lagasse. Mm. I, I, but what about... Like, are there more TV I mean, chefs like Monica's who? who are TV chefs, not TV chefs? I think this is the actual time where we can actually go reality of real people is with the chefs. Now, however, I do think we hire Monica. Okay, yeah. But she only does your late night burger food dressed with the big boobs and the roller skates. Yeah, that's that, amazing. Right? From the diner. From the diner. Yeah. All okay. right, I'm into that. Okay. Does she have Phoebe and Rachel waitressing for her? Uh, I was just going to say, Rachel does coffee, Phoebe does desserts. Okay, great. Okay. Great. But then also, hmm, I'm just thinking. Okay, so I would. She's good at design, too, where things go. She can help us, like, ice over there. Right. This kind of party thing over here. She can plan and wheeling and deal. Are you thinking about Monica? Yeah, she can She can help with all the things. So is she the head of this whole thing? Is I she wonder. the head of catering? I don't know if she can handle it. She gets stressed she out can, real easy. That's true. I think you I don't to, want to be yelled at at Firefest. I know. I think you really need Maybe to delegate. Maybe give her drugs. She's going to have to take Even them. if she says no, then we hear no. Right. Uh, there also is, in as far as our entertainment, there is a side stage during DJ Polly D's set. It's really hot on part of the island of Ross trying to put on uh, leather pants. Leather pants, yep. 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 So, so we're just calling him DJ Leather Pants. What about, like, do we get Wolfgang there? Wolfgang Puck? Yeah. He's never had a show. He's never really had, like, a, a, no a high, you know, like a, a famous reality show. I think the, Bobby the, Flay? I th- I th- no, I think where you go with because what says music festival quite like a fiery shirt? Guy. Halton Catch Fire, Guy Fieri. Yeah. He'd have so much fun there. Oh, I know. Flavor Town? You have one whole part of the island that's just called Flavor Town. Yeah, and you know what? I'm on vacation, so actually feed me the feed me all the garbage. Yep. Okay. So we have a Yummy flavor garbage. town on our island. You know what we could do? You know how at Coachella or music festivals, every there's like stations, there's the one that says pizza, one that says cookies, one that says sandwiches, one that says Asian. Like we could each TV chef could have their own. We could bring all the TV chefs and every TV chef. It just says Rachel, Guy, Monica, like everybody has their own station. Yes. You get to pick. We're yeah. bringing them all. OK. So let's just do five. OK. So we've got Flavor Town. We've got Monica with her late night burgers slash whatever you want. You got basically you've got uptown, you've got the central perk. Yeah. Right? It's your thing. You've got Flavor Town. Give me th- three more. Mm-hmm. And this is just food because then we can go to bars. You don't want Bobby Flay? Not a big Bobby Flay guy, but I'll, I'll gladly do. What's what's his thing? What? But but because like Emerald, you've got it's like the Gossi Stadium. You, you've got, you know, like the soul food, that kind of stuff. You've got. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because he does, you know, all the soul cooking, the flavor, the uh, New Orleans kind of cuisine. Mm-hmm. I think Martha Stewart, you have your uh, your buttoned up, you know, business. She could do some pastries, pastries. too. Pastries. Everything each day, Martha has a, has a theme. So you walk into Martha Town. I won't go get you. Martha, Martha Town. Town. And Martha Town. I mean, we have Flavor Town, but Martha. How about Marthaville? Or Land. Martha Land? Martha Mar- Marthaville. It's like Margaritaville, but yeah, Marthaville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marthaville. Does she have some drinks there too? Of course she does. Let's all, be honest. It's one drink, and it's always themed. And it's her and Snoop. It's gotta be. I mean, it's a music festival. Yeah. Marthaville, and the dog Marthaville, and then you can go to the dog pound. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then we need one more. Give me one more. Name name a couple, and I'll tell you. So we've got like Hell's Kitchen, which it's Firefest. Yeah, that's true. 
and you can go watch him yell at people. That could be a fun entertainment for people. Yeah, on, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, we've got Hell's Kitchen. Okay. Done and done. These are our food options. Now we got to go to the most important part, the bar slash alcohol. What do you got? All right. So we've got obviously all the guys from Cheers. Yes. I was just going to say Cheers is – I think Cheers is our um, like regular spot, right? There is – And then there's like maybe a secret bar for the even more elite. Correct. Like there's a VIP back area you know, where they were always going that back office and you'd see the office. But you knew there was something back there and that, that was totally different. So there's the walkthrough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then what other – what are our other big – I mean we've got all the – it's always sunny kids. you got to have Patty's Pub. Yeah, we right? can have Patty's Pub. Okay. And that's a very dangerous place. Most of the drug dealers are hanging out at Patty's. Mm-hmm. Um, Remember on Friends before it was Central Perk, it was a bar. Right. But they got rid of that pretty quick. They did. But it's there not were as famous. pool tables. So maybe pool tables on an island though. Mm. What about the bar? We need a bar in the water. What kind of bar can we put in the water? Or at least a bartender. A floating bartender yeah, in the water? Yeah, a floating bartender in the water. Who will have fun there? Mm. Somebody, maybe one of our Baywatch people, somebody from some kind of a... Pam Anderson, David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Doing a Baywatch bar. Baywatch bar. And we call it Bar Watch. Yep. Yes, we do. Love it. And you know who else is there? I'm living there. Yeah, I mean the bar, the bar watch. Yeah, I'm living at the it's bar watch. Fantastic. Yep. And you can, and it, and it actually goes at a pretty decent pace around the island. It just circles the island, and you're able to jump off like David Hasselhoff, and then just swim to another thing. Totally. So, you know, I'm so just in. going around. Okay, bar watch, uh, Pam. So Dave. they were in actual fire fest. There was a plan to do a million dollar um, treasure hunt. F- yeah. Around let's the get, island. Well, let's get to that. Okay. We got two more bars to put in. Oh, here. we're still doing two more bars. Yeah, we we, we have five we, restaurants. We, we got have five, five bars. bars. Oh wow, yeah. wow. Um, is there something more inland of the island, like a scarier bar to get to, so we can do some of our haunted shows, like an American Horror Story bar, or like a X Files kind of bar, okay. or uh, Scream Queens, Scream Queens, mm, or Making a Murderer, The Jinx. Wait, I've got it. I've got it. I said it last week. Uh-oh. I'll say it again. I'm nervous. Brew Detective. Yeah, Brew Detective. It's our micro brews in the middle of the island. Yeah, Brew Detective. And you got to go get to it, though. You got to get to it. And uh, nobody knows the exact location. No maps are given. You're just given clues, and you have to find the clues along the way. Mm-hmm. But honestly... And once you get there, they also it, it's, there's a creepy band playing there. Even though it's not full liquor, they have some wine, too. So for those of you sure. who don't just want brew, they got a little wine. 100%. I mean, there's like ciders and like yeah, ciders, barley whiskeys, wine yeah. and that kind of stuff. Yeah, sour beers. Sour beers. Yeah, yeah totally. totally. Just, I just wanted the people to know because mm-hmm. some people at home probably were just thinking, "Oh, I don't really like beer that much." Right. And I was thinking, well, just so you know, there's options. Done and done. Yeah, I just wanted them to be aware. Is it is it weird for me to want to do the bar in How I Met Your Mother because they're always there and that seemed like they my are kind always of, there. My kind of bar. Yeah. Is Why that, am I forgetting the name of it right I, now? I don't remember the name of it either. Oh, I'm at your mother bar. It, they are always there. And we don't have a bar yet with booths like that. No, like you're, I mean, well, cheers. No, but everybody's going to sit around the bar at cheers. You're not going to sit in that, they, like, it's not your specific booth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like at How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. I, I mean, and is that like the town dive bar where everybody's staying? That's the only bar that's open 24-7. So if you come home late, all the music has stopped. You've already heard Achy Breaky Heart. It's like 3 in the morning. What do you want to keep the drinking going? You go McLaren's. to McLaren's. To McLaren's. Okay. Yeah. Of course, it's an Irish place. I mm-hmm. love it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and we needed that. We did. Because we got a diverse file, but yep. we need an Irish place. Well, we've got Patty's Pub, but that's not Irish. It's just called Patty's because the, 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 it's, a, it's the world's most dangerous bar. It's a shame, yeah. Yeah, it's the world's <laughs> most dangerous bar. So we've got Cheers, Patty's Pub, Bar Watch with Pam and uh, Pam Anderson and David Hasselhoff. You've got Brew Detective, our micro brews, and then you've got McLaren's, your late night local pub. Which of our True Detective people are at Brew Detective? Oh, are you kidding me? All of them? McConaughey and Woody Harrelson just drinking up a storm. And then Mahershala the next night, no? no the, the first night is Woody Harrelson, Matthew McConaughey. The second night, McAdams, Taylor Kitsch, Colin Farrell. So nobody comes Vince on night Vaughan. two, you're saying? Night two is its least traffic night. And then uh, the third night, it's Stephen Dorth, Mahershala Ali. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the crew in that movie. Yeah, I Scoot agree. McNary, uh, Meryl Streep's daughter. All right, so listen, we've got acts, we've got a location, we've got five restaurants, we've got five bars. Mm, so good. What else do we need? Well, who's going to, like, 
plan be the person that gets the party going like who's our social media influencers well we just need people like these partiers you know we okay. are influencers yeah but like the barney um you know what we skipped a lot of the people that are actually going to build our sets and our everything well okay we got tim the tool man taylor obviously i was just gonna say that's all we need uh, right? and, and he'll al figure borland. it out and and um macgyver oh macgyver so al borland that kind of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. Right, that's what they figured it out okay duh now it was such a given i didn't even think we needed to but like we need a uh barney stinson like people that we need party. our party starters yeah people that party party okay so we need a i'll give you barney stinson i think that's a classic right who else, like, do we want any of the Always Sunny kids? I was going to say, what about the uh, most entertaining of the Always Sunny people is Charlie. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yep. He's always up for whatever. Mm -hmm. But just, but you know what comes with Charlie is uh, Frank. So Charlie and Frank together are amazing party starters. That's true. Okay, so we got Charlie and Frank. That's true. What are some of the biggest party shows? Like... Do we need like a Marissa Cooper from the OC? Yes. Early Marissa Cooper. Early Marissa Cooper. Mm -hmm. And Marissa comes with Summer. Okay. Marissa Summer. Get, leave the other two. Leave the Do dudes at home. Do we want just the like worst. a big drunk, like a Homer? Um, I think if we're going to have the party guys, we have Peter and Quagmire. Peter. Peter Griffin. Mm -hmm. Always a party starter. Yep. I agree with that. I agree. I'm looking at lists of the biggest p party characters. Uh, some, you know, it's hard to differentiate drunks from partiers. You're right, right. Like, like people that that get the party started. Like, do we want Bender from Futurama, mm. or or do we just consider I mean, the robots him a drunk? are always cool? I mean, he seems like he's up for whatever. Randy Marsh, South Park. <laughs> These are all animated characters. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the dopest. Yeah, we do. Uh, man. Do we need some supernatural characters like, to help with some things? Or like, do we bring Eleven in case there's something on the island that needs killing? I think you bring you bring Barry Allen because he's such a dork that he'll be like, guys, we're all under, and he, he can saves help the set day. up too because it, he, so he fast. does it fast. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. we need the flash. We there. need Barry Allen. Uh, Eleven is not old enough. She's just so young; it's awkward. That is true. She's just too young and too right. awkward. Mm. What about Claire Danes and Homeland just crying on stage? Like, these are part of our entertainment. No, I want nothing to do with her. <laughs> A.C. Slater. He'd be old enough at this point. Hold on. I think you, Zach, well, Zach Attack's already there. So they're starting the party. Yeah, yeah, And they're oh, all yeah, in yeah. the band. That's true. That's it's true. fine. Um, what about the band? What about the band California Dreams, which was the show after Saved by the Bell? Do you remember the? Do you remember California Dreams? Yeah. They're playing. Yeah. They're playing. Okay. Do we want... Any of the Sopranos, any Boardwalk Empire people, like. I mean, if you're looking at somebody that's going to start the party, you got uh, Christopher Moltisanti and Adriana. Why I mean, don't we bring Jerry for when people are musicked out and they need a little bit of comedy? Why don't we bring Jerry Seinfeld? And who comes with Jerry? George, Elaine, and Kramer. Kramer is a party starter. Okay, I agree with Seinfeld that. Seinfeld cast. I agree. Now here's a fun one. Do we invite the Ooh, Chuck Bass? Do we invite Bass Stringer Club. Bell and Marlo uh, to provide the illegals from The Wire? That's what I was thinking. I think we do. I mean, you kind of need the illegals if it's a festival. Stringer and Marlo. Who do we want? Like, in case people want to go out on the boat Marlo's or Stanford. whatever, can we bring like Captain Kirk? I know a boat is different than a ship, but <laughs> well, you need like, you, don't you need like the captain of the love boat? Didn't we say the love boat was going to be there? Oh, so he comes with the boat. Yeah. All right. What about Vincent Chase? I think you bring Vinny Chase. You bring, but you also bring, bring Turtle. Turtle, right? Do I we mean, bring e e fine. And Johnny? Already. Johnny Drama is a good one. Well, why don't we just bring on the Entourage guys? And can we bring Sloan too? I love Sloan. Yeah, let's yeah. bring Sloan. Okay. Entourage Sloan. Right. Do we bring Charlie Harper, or has is he off of our? Because on Two and a Half Men, what he does is party. He does party a lot. I don't know if we want him there. I just don't know. Mm. Hank Moody, Californication. Dude, Hank Moody in Californication is awesome. Don Draper? Nah, John's. You know who you bring from Mad Men is you bring Roger Sterling because okay. he's a party guy. All right. So we got, enough, we got yeah. some partiers. Yep. We've got our influencers. And then, like, okay, we can bring, like, some of the hotties from Riverdale right, or whatever right, the hot right. new thing is we need of some, the time. We need some, like, really, you know, like, hot modelish kind of situations. Mm -hmm. So we need, like, the cast of Riverdale. 
Uh, yeah, you need... they're a little young now too. Though. Are they 21 yet? No, I don't think Thomas. Oops, no. Nope. Because I think they're still. Well, think... we're in international water, so if you're 18. Yeah, they are in high school, but they look. They're a little the young. The actors are so much older, though. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. This is a real. What are college age shows? I mean, the like cast Buffy of undeclared. The Vampire when the... Charmed Buffy. Yeah, mm. just some just. Theoretical supernatural hot people. Let's Anybody just, who's been on CW that's over twenty one, free form that's over twenty one, the okay. Pretty Little Liars girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Nine hundred two one zero. Oh yeah. Okay. All those Vampire Diaries. Wasn't there a band on nine hundred two one zero too? In the Peach Pit. Nine hundred two one zero. Yeah, for sure, but I don't remember. Okay. I mean, if we're talking about Dylan McKay, he's a party starter. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> we've got about three more minutes before we got to get out of here. Um, what else do we need? Lights, like atmosphere. We got, we've got Monica to help kind of guide some of that stuff. I mean, we've got our bands. I think the lights just come along with it. I, I always kind of say the joke that the only technology that hasn't changed in the last like fifty years is fireworks and concert lighting. It's just yeah, we the got same t- we need tons of fireworks. Yeah, so many fireworks. Or, did you watch Friends from College yet? Yes. Okay, fireworks. Yes. He'll bring Nat Faxon. Yeah, Nat Faxon. Yeah. Yep. Just so you know, um, love that show. I'm in love with him. So Nat Faxon. I just want you to know that <laughs> he's great in that show, and that that show is so underrated. It's yeah, Nick, fantastic. I'm not in love with Nat Faxon. I'm in love with Nick. Oh I'm yeah. In love Ames. With, he. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. He's so he's dreamy. He's, <laughs> he's dreamy. dreamy. Okay. But they can all come. They're trying to relive their college days. They can all come. Okay, got it. I think we did it. Do we do it? Firefest 2019. Firefest. We've got our places to Maybe stay. Maybe it has to be 2020 though, because we 2020. We need plenty of time to plan. So Firefest, which will take place in April of 2020, 2020. on the Lost Island. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read it off to you. You ready? Okay, here we go. That meant yes. Uh, VIP tickets. Uh, we'll What's the name s- of the festival? The Halt and Catch Fire Festival. You're welcome. Uh, Halt and Catch Fire, one of the greatest shows ever that nobody has watched except for Thad and myself. Okay. Uh, the Halt and Catch Fire Festival, hosted at the Lost Island. You have your pick of staying on the actual plane. You have uh, the plane stuck in the tree. You have the village. You have uh, the the hatch. You have multiple. We've got the love boat. We've got the love boat out there as well if you'd like to be ferried in and out. Okay. Here are your uh, your. Your Peyton Hill is your booker slash record exec that is going to get all of these acts at Halt and Catch Firefest. DJ Polly D is going to MC the whole thing for us. DJ so Polly D will MC line. it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to give me a DJ Polly D beat real quick? Here comes the polar bear. All right, I'm sorry, <laughs> listeners at home. That was terrible. It's mm-hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Did you just have a stroke? I Roxy. <laughs> All right, we we know your strong suits and that's not one of them. Just we're done. It's it, <laughs> You're not even on a beat. You're just spitting. It's almost like you choked on your water at lunch today. Oh my goodness. Happen. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You've got <laughs> Hannah Montana slash <laughs> Miley Cyrus <laughs> as your headliner. <laughs> Date <laughs> night one. <laughs> You've got Drive Shaft headlining night two. Oh, everybody. And you've got Mouse Rat headlining night three. On all these stages, you've got Synchronicity, you've got the Partridge Family, you've got mm, the Monkeys, mm. you've got Jesse and the Rippers, Zack Attack, Creation, Doug Funny's The Beats, uh, the Beats. Tobias Funke's Electric uh, Fun Time Band, you've got Karma, you've got the Pussycat Dolls, you've got DJ Polly D. It's you've not got the Pussycat Dolls. Josie oh, Josie and the Pussycats, my bad. Uh, you've got DJ Leatherpants, a.k.a. Ross, dancing on the side of the stage, sweating, trying to get his pants on. You've got California Dreams yeah. and the bands that played at the Peach Pit in 90210. It's so good. You've got your restaurants and caterers. Your head caterer is Monica Geller from Friends with her two waitresses, Rachel Green and Phoebe Buffet. Good job. You've got Flavortown as one of your bars slash areas. You get to? Flavor Town, hosted by Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri will also, in the middle of the day, be reading his live poetry, uh, slam dance poetry from his poetry book. Yeah. Welcome to Flavor Town. Uh, you've got Emeril Lagasse in his New Orleans style, uh, you know, country kitchen, your your soul kitchen, your Creole kitchen, which I need. You've got Marthaville and the Dog Pound, which also at that point we haven't really. But Snoop Dogg will be playing a set at some point well, during the secret, weekend. Though. It's a it's secret. secret. Don't give that away. Just have to be lucky to yeah, be in Marthaville. Just have to be there. And finally, we've got Hell's Kitchen with Gordon Ramsay. 
to yelling at anybody and everybody. If you're a customer and you don't know what you order, you get yelled at. Your bars, you've got che- Cheers with a VIP Cheers section. You've got mm, Patty, mm. Pa- Patty's Pub, the world's most dangerous bar. Mm, mm. You've got Bar Watch, uh, hosted by Pam Anderson and David Hasselhoff, a.k.a. CJ one. and... What's David Hasselhoff's name? I don't Baywatch. remember. Um, uh, Mitch Buchanan. I'm an idiot. But I did see him in, in Chicago. David not, Hasselhoff? Not in the city of Chicago, in the play of Chicago when I was in London. It was wild. <laughs> that is a hat on a hat on a hat. Uh, we've got bar, uh, we, we've got Brew Detective, our only micro brew slash barley wine slash sour beers uh, area. It's mm-hmm. a secret. And, and their slogan, like the bar in Encino, is warm beers, cold women. Warm beers, cold women. <laughs> First night, starring Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. Second night, uh, Rachel McAdams, Colin Farrell, Vince Vaughn, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Taylor Kitsch. And third night, you've got Mahershala Ali, Stephen Dorff, and company. Yeah. And Scoot McNary. So okay. good. Those are our five How much bars. are tickets? Uh, VIP tickets start at five thousand. All of the money, all everything, and your Uber VIP is at ten grand. General admission one thousand. That doesn't include housing. That does include your general admission housing, which steep, is like steep. not the best. All right, I'll do it. But it's fi- it's better than a FEMA tent. Just we'll tell just me how that. much to put on my wristband. Five <laughs> k up top. Great. Okay, and your party starters slash influencers that will be there: the cast of Entourage plus Sloan, Roger oh Sterling God, from Mad Men. Chase. Gossip Girl, XOXO. Oh, so uh, you've got Nat Faxon from coll- uh, Friends from College with all of his Do fireworks. Me, you've got Pretty Little Liars, because they're always into something. Mm. Barney Stinson hosting each night guest bartending at Patty's Pub or any of the bars around here. Uh, you've got Charlie Day and Frank Reynolds from yep. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You've got Marissa and Summer from the OC. You've got Peter Griffin. You have Barry Allen, who's the fastest man alive. We'll get you drinks, whatever you need, as fast as you can. You just have to pay the Barry Allen Access VIP code. Oh, that's like Fast Pass. Yes, correct. Our very own Fast Pass. Very own Fast Pass. Uh, you've got uh, Christopher Maltesanti and Adriana Laserva from Sopranos. They own a strip club, the Crazy Horse, the club, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. You've got the Seinfeld cast. You've got Seinfeld doing stand up, George telling you, you, Life isms, and you've got Kramer just doing Kramer stuff, and of course you got Stringer Bell and Marlowe Stanfield bringing the illegals in to Halt and Catch Fire Fest. Leave your kids at home. This is going to be the greatest festival in the history of festivals. It will make actual Fire Festival look terrible, which it already does. And then we are going to make a documentary, and it's going to be on Amazon. <laughs> Suck it. Take it. Take it. Out. Take it to the bank. Bitches. This is hypothetical questions with Josh and Roxy. Hashtag at Collider Hypotheticals. I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga Twitter. Instagram, The Afternoons with Josh and Ken, The Josh McCuga Show on YouTube, all kinds of stuff here on Collider TV Talk. Subscribe to the feed, subscribe to the podcast feed. This is... Roxy Stryer. You guys can find me everywhere at Roxy Stryer, and I'll tell you what I'm doing over there. And if you're in New York this weekend, we hope to see you uh, at either the Schmodown or uh, at the New York Comedy yeah. Club. And next weekend, if you're in Stay Scottsdale, warm. Phoenix, Arizona, or the Arizona area, Ken Napsack and, my, and myself are hosting Mark Ellis Live 8 and 10 p.m. at Pub Rock Live in Scottsdale. Be there can I for come? all the fun. You can most definitely come, Roxy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Get to Halt and Catch Fire Fest, the hottest ticket on the internet. Thank you guys. Put down the book. Pick up the Fire Fest tickets. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Oh. Oh.